Hi, it's Nikki here and welcome to another vlog. So I just wanted to do a little intro to this vlog because um, I didn't do one um, <laughs> because I always forget. Um, this vlog is primarily about me doing my first, my first market ever. So yeah, it's a lot of me you'll see being very nervous and anxious and um, just anxiety planning to the max. I am definitely one of those people who when they get nervous they just plan almost too much but it worked out in the end. Oh spoiler. Um, <laughs> the first footage that you're gonna see though is from a little trip that we took up to Yorkshire which is where I'm from because it was my nephew's fifth birthday and I wanted to see my family so <laughs> So we had a little drive up to Yorkshire and it was fun and like I always say I think Yorkshire is a really beautiful place so I like to include any footage that I take of it. But yeah we ate a lot of good food. We also went to a market so it was good sort of research for the market that I ended up doing. So yeah I just wanted to do a little intro and I'll be back at the end to do an outro. Please give a little thumbs up and a subscribe if, if you fancy. Let's say it at the beginning again and see if that makes any kind of a difference. It probably won't. Um, also, please excuse my sunburn. But yeah, I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you at the end. Enjoy! grimy because I just spent five hours in a car. I really wanted to show you some of the goodies that we got. There was a couple of artists there and I really wanted to just give them a bit of a shout out. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Look at this bag! Other people, this is hand painted. The name of this artist is Lucy Locks. This is their business card. They had loads of cute animal stuff and you know how obsessed I am with animal things. So I got, right, the puns of the names of these sticker packs. Chef's kiss. So we've got a bunch of tits. <laughs> Giggling like a child. And then we've got some fun guys! And then I got this adorable fox print. How cute is that? And you know how much I love foxes, so this. Perfect. And then, I only got a couple of things. Mostly what I got was food, which I ate at the time. You will have seen. Look at this adorable bag. I am so impressed. So impressed. And um, so this is her business card. It's shiny, so you can't really see it. So her name's artistically Tori. So I got this cool bookmark. I'm like, and the the paper stock is so so good. This one it says watch yourself grow, and this bit is like kind of like a mirror. So you can see yourself in it, look, you can kind of see you. Woo! 
I'll film it and make it look a bit better at the end so you can see everything. So I got that and then I got this, which is like a holographic one. Oh my God. And then I got this washi tape as well. So it's like a forest kind of landscape thing with like moons and suns and it's so beautiful, honestly. Both these people have online shops, I'm pretty sure, so I'll put their handles, Instagram links and shop links if they have any in the description below so you can go and check them out if you like. So yeah, so I just wanted to show you, but yeah, I'm gonna rest now and then the next time you see me I'm gonna be doing more market prep. I've got prints that need to go into sleeves, I've got these stickers that need to be cut and then I've got all the rest of my cards that I need to print and put into sleeves and I need to do a test run of what the table is going to look like. I need to sleep otherwise none of this is going to get done because I still have two days at work to do and I've got a massive deadline coming up in my day job as well so <laughs> I'm tired. My toxic trait is seeing burnout hurtling towards me and just being like well I better get even more work done so I can make up for it when I get burnt out and I can't do anything. Right, I'm off. Bye! Can I just show you the shirt? Okay. It came while I was away, but I didn't get a chance to open it because it got delivered to my office. It's by Jess was here. Move out of the way, hair. And it's got little raccoons on it. And it says no overthinking zone. And I'm gonna wear it ironically because I don't know how not to overthink. <laughs> so I'm gonna do another little, I'm gonna, I've got loads to do, but I did get other things in this parcel from Jess was here and I wanna show you them all because they're so cute. Right. Just the quality and like the production values Freaking perfect, oh my gosh. So I'm gonna wear this forever and ever until I spill something down it. <laughs> In case you're wondering, because I definitely recommend everyone go and buy one of these. I got the extra large. I'm like a 12, 14 on top, um, depending where you go. Sometimes I'm a 16, depends where you go. And I have like, as you can see, a tummy and some boobs. I got the extra large because I want it. I like my t-shirts to be quite big and baggy and then but yeah I've just got it tucked into my my culottes because it's warm today so as you can probably see it's a shithole in here because it's Thursday the 2nd of June today it's actually the jubilee is it the jubilee today or tomorrow I can't remember might be today my battery's about to run, run out hang on yeah the market is on saturday today's thursday and i've still got so this is what i've basically managed to do so far so i've got all my all my prints done individually and then i've got all these little bags of stickers that I've, a bunch of them i've had to do print um i've had to print and cut out and then i've got the largest stack of freebie stickers you've ever seen in your life so there's like 50 i reckon these which are, so this is all of the greetings cards that i've printed out so far so i'm doing four of basically each design that i have apart i think there's a couple that i'm not bothering to take because they like they don't sell well so there's no point um so i've done them so i've got eight more designs that i need to print four of and then and then i just need to put them in a bag with an envelope like thusly and then that'll be all the stock made and then i just need to make like um i keep calling it pos but i don't know if that's really the correct term for it so like 
a sheet of paper with a design with my name on it and my Instagram handle and like everywhere that people can find me, prices. Um, so then I need to do all that and then I need to do a mock-up of the table layout to make sure I know what I'm doing when I get there. And then if there is anything that I still need to get for the table, I suppose the shops will be open today and tomorrow, so I should be able to just nip and get stuff. But yeah, so we've got I've got quite a lot to do. I was quite I was having a bit of a freak out last night because I thought I had way more to do than I actually do. But then we're out tomorrow lunchtime, we're going around to Colin's mate's house. So I need to make some vegan sausage rolls for that. So basically I need to have everything done by like lunchtime tomorrow because I'm not going to get any chance Saturday morning to do it because we have to be at the um, we have to be at the market ready to set up quite early so it's not like I'm going to get any chance to do it that morning. Oh and I need to make sure everything fits inside the suitcase because we don't really want to take the car we kind of want to because it's only in Felix stuff so it's not that far on the train. So we'd rather just throw everything in, in a suitcase and go on the train because then while we're there we can maybe have a drink and we don't have to worry about parking. If we can't fit everything in, in a suitcase we're going to have to drive but we'd rather go on the train. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've got all that to do and it's now quarter to ten so I better get started. It's voiceover Nikki here. I thought I'd just jump in and fill in some of the gaps because there were some little bits that I didn't really talk about on camera. So here I am just bagging up all these greetings cards. I didn't really do a lot of footage of me bagging things up but I did in fact bag up individually every single greetings card and print that I took into these biodegradable bags. This isn't something that I really wanted to do but I kind of thought since everything was just going to be out and people were going to be rifling through and touching things that the plastic bags would be a good way of keeping everything dirt free and safe. It did become a bit of an issue with all the stock that I had to bring back from the market that I didn't sell because now I'm having to send everything out from my Etsy shop individually wrapped in bags which is not ideal but hey ho, I wasn't to know. So you also saw me having to do an emergency ink run which <laughs> is my own fault, I hadn't been keeping on top of my ink and I had literally two of every single colour except light magenta and that is the one that I ran out of so I had to go buy an entire pack of ink all because I ran out of one colour so 
word of advice to you is make sure you have at least two of each colour on hand and keep on top of it. So in terms of the actual building of the table, I will list everything in the description down below. I had to get everything off Amazon because it was the only like practical and affordable way of getting everything, which again is not ideal, but is what it is. So I got these wire grid things from there. Um, this is pretty much what everyone uses on market stalls, I think because you can make them into these like kind of walls that are quite sturdy and don't really move around very much. Um, I did in fact end up changing it, which you'll see in a bit, but yeah, I just decided to pin one of every single print that I had using just white bulldog clips. And then I left space to design and print out the POS that I wanted to put on there as well. So the little white plastic stands that I'm using are actually plate stands for like decorative plates but I just um, I think I got two packs of them and I just used them to display my greetings cards which worked out really well and looked really cute. You can also get plate racks so <laughs> probably pretty easy to imagine that it's just like a rack that you're supposed to put plates on but you could put prints on if you've got larger prints. I've seen other people using those on their market stalls and they look really cute so that's another thing that you could try. I also had the little sort of wicker basket things and they were storage baskets that I already had in the studio. They're pretty lightweight, they don't fall down or anything so they were kind of annoying to get in the suitcase at the end but I just put other things inside them and they worked out pretty well. And then the only other things that you'll see in a minute are I had some fake peony garlands. I had two of those that I just already had for decoration in the studio and then I got some of those like just generic pink candy stripe paper bags that are like A5 size that I put people's orders in. So yeah that's about it and I'll uh, hand you back to proper vlog me who can talk you through the rest of it. We just need to make these signs because these are obviously just placeholders with the prices on. Great portrait I just did it myself there. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty certain the table that I'm gonna have is gonna be bigger than this. So everything should fit. If not, uh, don't know. <laughs> but I've got way more of these. So I'm just gonna bring more of these with me and if I need to build it up, then I can. I don't really wanna build it up much more though because I'm scared that it won't be very um, sturdy if I do that, but we'll see. I'm feeling a lot better about it than I was this morning. I am not happy that I had to go to freaking Argos to pick up more ink. That really upset me, um, and I really could have done without it, but I think everything will be okay. <sighs> Fingers crossed, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm now gonna go and make some sausage rolls, so let's go. This is the sign with my name on, um, and then I've got, so this is my price list, and then I've got these. So what I'm going to do is I've still got loads of these card blanks, um, so I'm going to use these, um, print on these, like this, so that that's basically half half of that and then fold it in half um, and I've done a ton of, ton of these um, I did one with my name stuff on and then I did these just in case the card machine stops working or for whatever reason we can only take card like if we can't get change on the day because I still haven't got a float so if we can't get a float on the day then instead of having the we accept cash and contactless, I'll just have the card only. And then I did these that just have my name thingy on, so they'll be like a whole, they'll be like this size. This size basically. And then I can just stick those around as well. 
maybe I could wash a tape them to the front, um, the front of the table. I don't know, we'll find out. So yeah, so I'm gonna get these printed. Colin's just getting ready because he's going on a night out with the lads. Um, and I'm gonna stay in and work. So that's fun. There he is. <laughs> I have got an old mood side to drink with, so I'm probably gonna drink that and like watch some vlogs or something. Maybe I'll get a bath. I'll print these first though. Good morning. Right, so I've had a bit of a shuffle. Colin's been helping me. What I realised is that, because basically these square things come with instructions that I didn't see. And um, you're supposed to like build it on a base with legs, right? But then I was like, actually, having the legs on it would be really good because then it's elevated a little bit. And then also the space underneath so I can stall, like, because I'll be on the other side so I can stall like my bags and like my freebie stickers and stuff so that they're like not taking up extra space so i've done that and that looks really cool i'm slightly concerned because i only have literally the exact amount of these that i need so i'm gonna have to make sure that i definitely pack them all and then i had a bit of a brainwave and i was like what if i use one of these and put my sketchbook on it and then like People want to have a little rummage through my sketchbook and then they can see how cute is that? I mean if the table is this size or any smaller it probably won't work. So it kind of hinges on the the hope that the table will be bigger than this. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it now. Um, I also, I can't remember if I showed you, I designed these like little this like packaging for my two pack stickers. They're not all gonna be like this, I'm just gonna have them loose. Um, because I feel like having a plastic bag for a sticker is kind of pointless, but I just wanted these to show, I just wanted these to show on the stall that they are a two pack. I didn't wanna just have them out loose in case people are like, oh, I'll have one of these and me have to be like, oh, actually it's a two pack. Um, so like that, and then if people are like, oh, I wanna buy a one of these I'll just be like oh well they're actually loose because I didn't want to use up loads more packaging than I needed to so yeah so I'm super happy with it and now I just need to see if it'll fit in a suitcase look at the mess in here honestly wait I'll show you the mess look at this freaking look at the chaos also this is like the smallest room in the whole world so don't mind my Jenny Savile prints she just got her boobies up so either this suitcase or this massive suitcase. I reckon everything will definitely fit in this one, but I'm gonna try and fit it in this one because it'll just be less of a faff to carry, I think. I managed to get everything to fit in here, in this suitcase, and it fastens up just about. So, job done. I'm just charging the card reader so I can make sure it's got tons of battery. Um, but yeah, everything fits in there. I've got my wire grid in there. I've got the bits for the wire grid. I mean, obviously I'm gonna unpack it later just so I can double check that everything's in there, but. So yeah. So now I'm gonna get a shower and I'm gonna get changed. I'm gonna get dressed and I'm gonna wash my hair and then we're going to our friend's house for a little a little party and that's going to be great because that means I can actually enjoy the lovely weather. So yeah, let's go. It's the day of the market. It's 25 to 7. We need to sell for like just before half past seven, I think, to get the train. My bag is packed. I just need to put my makeup on and then we'll be ready. I'm pooping my pants, I'm very nervous, um, which is pretty standard for me. <laughs> I've kind of had a little chat with myself and I need to be the like extrovert version of me today because I think I've said this before on a video, but I don't think people, um, 
people don't always realize that I'm actually a really socially awkward and I can't, I just hate talking to people. Mostly because I feel like I say the completely wrong thing and I'm really annoying when I talk to people. So I need to not worry about that today and just be like saying hello to everybody and just being friendly, which in itself is quite a lot of pressure. <laughs> But yeah, it look, the weather's pretty grey outside, so that's great. I was just hoping that it would be nice weather today, but it looks like it might be gross. It's not supposed to rain, I don't think. It's supposed to be windy though, so I'm slightly concerned about my stickers, but at this point I don't really know what to do, so I'm just gonna see how it goes. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited, I'm just very nervous at the minute, so let's get packed up and then we can go. my first ever market it was so good i had a really good time really enjoyed it spoke to a lot of really cool nice people i did do a bit of a sort of roundup the next day after the market about things that i you know just like impressions and like things that i would do differently next time because it's definitely going to be a next time i did film that but it is so long that i didn't want to tack it on to the end of this video because I thought people would just be like so tired of watching me talk by then. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it as um, the voiceover for my next Paint With Me video which will be out in like a couple of weeks. So long story short I had a really good time, I'll definitely do it again. Um, but if you'd like the full roundup and the, the whole shebang of me talking about my first ever market tune in next time for a little paint with me video i wanted to put it on a paint with me video as well so if you didn't want to listen to it but you did want to watch a paint with me video it would still be interesting for some people who don't care about markets uh but yeah that's it thank you so much for watching i hope you're keeping safe and well and drinking your water eating fruits and veggies and all that good stuff and yeah if you haven't already give us a little thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already leave a comment down below and let me know if you have any tips for doing art markets or anything like that. Um, but yeah, other than that, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much again for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye!